After three not so great spring breaks these past few years, I decided to spend my break in Italy. Welcome to the Amalfi Coast, a beautiful coastline in Italy full of stunning views and lemon themed everything. We began our journey in Naples, where we flew into, and then we took a train into Vietri sul Mare, I think is how you say it. There's a few different ways to get to the coast, but this is the cheapest way that we found, and it actually worked out pretty well. One of my favorite things about beach trips is that first moment you see the ocean. I think it is so special. It's never the best view of the ocean, but just being able to see it for the first time, it just brings so much happiness to me. Here is Vietri sul Mare. It's a cute little town. We didn't actually get to explore it much because we took the bus pretty much straight away. If you don't know, you can drive, you can take a Vespa, or you can take the bus. We decided the bus route was best for us. There is an app called Unico that you need to get, and that is kind of where you get all your tickets, or you can buy them on the bus, I think. But the easiest method for us was just to download the app. It was a little bit of a process to get used to it, but once you do, it's really simple and the bus system is great. Just a bit of a note on the bus ride, the main road is very windy on the Amalfi Coast, so definitely if you're motion sick, like keep this in mind, bring any motion tablets that you have, make sure you get a seat towards the front. Now we decided to stay in Praiano actually, which is another smaller town. It is about 15 minutes from Positano by bus and about 30 minutes from Amalfi. So it was a great location for us. I will say if you are staying in Praiano, there is a mini bus system, which you really should figure out. Otherwise you have to climb the most amount of stairs in the world. We ended up being fine. It was definitely a walk, but it was pretty nonetheless. So the hotel we were staying at was called Locanda Degli Dei, I think is how you say it. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing anything. It was such a stunning hotel. It really just fit into everything I love. Like it was very cottagey. It's a little bed and breakfast. So it was really cute, really quaint. The most amazing views. Everything was so beautiful. I just remember like standing outside every day and just being in awe of everything. So many lemons everywhere, by the way. I just love that. It was very beachy and so cool to see. And now on to the food on the Amalfi Coast. I have never been to Italy before and it was such an experience to taste all of the food throughout Italy. There was just so much pasta and pizza and that's all you really have to eat, I guess. In Praiano, we actually ended up eating at Che Bonta like so many times. I think we went there like four times, mostly because of convenience. Something to note is that a lot of restaurants will be open from like 12 to 3 ish or 11 to 4 and then they will be closed and then reopen at 7 p.m. or 6 30 sometimes if you're lucky it was kind of a little bit hard to like figure out meals because we were kind of only eating out like once a day and we'd only get hungry like in that period between like 4 and 7 I definitely recommend you have to try lemon ravioli and a seafood pasta and I've honestly never had better pizza and pasta but what is more obvious than that? That is very expected as we are in Italy. <laughs> I think out of all of the cities that we visited, Positano was my favorite. Mostly, I guess, because of the weather. It was such a stunning day and it was pretty warm, so it was really nice. These photos and videos that we got were like straight off of Pinterest. Like I couldn't believe I was looking at that. I really loved Positano. It was so cute, really nice to walk up and down. And there was a really nice beach there. So much to see, so much to try. And we spent like an entire day there. It was very relaxing and beautiful to see. Thank you. 
Also, you're gonna see a lot of gelato and sorbet, but I couldn't have it because I gave it up for Lent. But my friends who tried it have said that it was great, so I'm trusting their word on it. Definitely try lemon sorbet or lemon gelato, whatever you can find. So on the second day, we headed off to Sorrento. It was really cool to see. I think we were a little bit underwhelmed by it. It was still so beautiful, but I think maybe it was for a different demographic than us. I think it was more for people who were interested in like shopping and maybe if you had your own car and maybe just like a little bit older than us. I'm not exactly sure. It just felt like there wasn't too much to do for what we prefer but it's definitely like worth a visit and just to like walk around and see it but we only spent half of a day here just because we wanted to go back to Praiano and experience that a little bit more So back in Praiano, we decided to try and go down to the beach. We didn't actually make it all the way just because it was like really far and I think we got a little bit confused with the location potentially, but we just found this really beautiful area and this little cat was just following us the entire time. So the last city we visited was Amalfi. Amalfi was really cute as well. Unfortunately, we got hit with a little bit of bad weather towards the end of the day, but it was still kind of cozy, but we had a good start to the day. It had more of like a town feeling than Positano. Like there's this big piazza, I guess, and a lot of shopping options to do, a lot of like souvenir type of shopping. And this day we decided to make pesto sandwiches. We basically were living off of these sandwiches. We had bread and pesto from the grocery store. We just got like meat and cheese from different places and then made little sandwiches. They were delicious. The church was really cool to see. We actually didn't go inside. You do have to pay to go in. We just kind of took a look from the outside. That was more so our approach to these things.
There's something about like a rainy day on the beach that is kind of calming to me. Obviously a sunny day is amazing, but, but the rain was still cozy. Oh my gosh. She can't stop. And it's raining. It's okay.